DoorDash has partnered with Max to introduce its first ever streaming benefit for Dash Pass members in the U.S. According to a DoorDash press release, Max with ads is now included with a Dash Pass annual plan membership in the United States at no additional cost, giving consumers a $240 annual value for just $96 per year. The partnership introduces the first benefit available for Dash Pass annual plan members that extends beyond the DoorDash platform, included at no additional cost to members. As consumers continue to find ways to stretch their dollars, a Dash Pass annual plan now offers savings on both Max Streaming and DoorDash fees. Adam, given DoorDash's edition of Max, which one would you be more likely to give up first, Amazon Prime or your Dash Pass? Interesting question, Chris. Makes me, I, I actually never compared Dash Pass and Prime, but I actually think that it's a fair question given that they meet the same need state for me. For me, I'm cross or comparing Amazon or DoorDash when I need something quickly. And if I think about the assortment on both platforms, I'd almost say that Dash Pass is better, just given that there's so many different stores that are in the ecosystem. I'd also say that from a delivery perspective, Dash Pass is not only better from a delivery window experience, as we just discussed, but also it's a real person whose one task is to hand me my item rather than just on a truck for the day. And I'd also say that from a fee perspective, when you have Dash Pass, maybe a little bit more expensive, but on the individual order level, it's worth it. Also, I'd say that Max is a streaming service that I watch. I don't actually watch Amazon Prime that much. But when I add all this up, I have to think about the one other thing, which is cost. And yeah. unfortunately, in New York City, everything I buy on Amazon is significantly cheaper than my local store. And you know, while that stinks, because I love to support local retail, just the difference in cost on the item itself and Dash Pass and that platform versus what I can get something on Amazon, it's not even competitive. So with that, unfortunately, I'd have to say Dash Pass is the loser and Prime is where I keep. So Dash Pass is the loser. Okay, cool. And the other point we got to make too is, is the Prime is actually like $50 more expensive annually than the Dash Pass too. And I'm curious where your head is on this one. Do you agree with Adam or would you give, would you give up Prime before Dash Pass? I mean, I, I, do, I do get the sense of the price sensitivity. It's really hard to not go for Amazon for the, the breadth of items and the lower cost at the same um, point. But I think it depends on life stages and what your requirements are. Like, I think you cannot deny the benefit, at least for me and my family, of food delivery as a component of this too. Like we use this so often, whether I'm traveling for work or I'm at home, like it's just, it's something that I use with far more frequency than Amazon these days. It's it's immediate delivery. Like there's never any question about it. And now adding in max, I think is a huge benefit because like Adam said, it's something that we, that that's where we're watching all of our streaming content. Um, and so that's really the, the big, I mean, that, that got me to upgrade to an annual pass from the monthly, uh, monthly pass that I currently have. It was this max deal. Cause I was oh, like, look, right. we're already paying for both of them. Yeah. It just makes sense to give them all my money now instead of like, you know, what I've been paying for the last year plus probably in, in monthly fees. But, um, but yeah, I, I just, I think it makes so much sense. And now, now they can deliver a mattress that I can watch max streaming on as well. So I feel like the, the possibilities are endless. DoorDash is going to keep going up. So I'm keeping my DoorDash pass. Right, and alluding to the fact that they just signed, uh, uh, what was it, uh, mattress, mattress firm, mattress firm as a as a partner this week. I mean, I I got to jump in here too. Like, I I actually, with all due respect, Adam, disagree with the the price uh, side of the argument because I think one of the things that's happened with Amazon is they've set the table stakes for two day delivery across the retail industry, and so you've got people like Walmart to give you another option to get those same products at those same prices without having to pay a subscription fee. So point. I think when that, when you factor that into the equation, um, for me personally, like I'd rather have dash pass at this point, but Chad, you get the last word here. What's your take? Uh, well, like Ann said, maybe it's about life stage or, or individual household habits. Like we, we don't, we don't do much food delivery, uh, honestly. So I'm not even a, this is probably like sacrilege for Ann because I know you're a big dasher, but like we don't even have the service. It's just not how we roll. 
Um, so the comparison is not even, I mean, it's like laughable to me yeah. from an Is overall, it? Okay. Interesting. Well, I mean, from a, from a breadth of assortment and, and you got, yes, its own streaming platform and cloud storage. And by the way, like Amazon prime has Grubhub now, but like, but so let me take a step back and just let's discuss the offering itself. Right. So first of all, as a platform, like Max is a, is a great one. I'm actually surprised mm-hmm. that it was still available at this standpoint mm-hmm. as everyone's like grabbing all of these, like it's yeah. the fourth biggest subscription streaming service behind Netflix, by the way, behind Amazon prime, Amazon prime has about two X, the number of subscribers. Oh, for sure. Max. Yeah. Uh, and Disney plus, right. So you're doing better than Instacart with Peacock, uh, 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 it was Walmart, Walmart with Paramount, Walmart with Uber Paramount. and Hulu, yeah, even Walmart and Paramount plus, although, uh, maybe similar to my, my Amazon prime, like Walmart has a lot more going on than just streaming. Right. And so, um, yeah, so it's like not even a concept. I, I, I do think it's, it's, it's interesting, this concept though, of like how all these, players are bundling like the delivery and the the streaming like it's an interesting pairing that's kind of pulled together here i mean obviously you're going after this like mutually digital savvy digitally oriented consumer with two high use cases in terms of how people use digital and what they do on their phones right they order stuff and they stream stuff and so so that that pairing and so you know what happens next all right these guys have jumped on the bandwagon and and grabbed up uh, Max and, you know, kind of what, what goes beyond this and where do they start bundling and how does this, you know, become, I, I, you know, it does make me want to, I'm not sure anyone's picked up Apple TV yet. Uh, so poor lonely Apple TV. So I'm going to start a bike delivery service and give you free Apple TV. And uh, there you go. You can discuss what's that. The, on- what's the delivery range? What's, um, how far are you traveling? About 50, uh, 500 yards. In yeah. your cul-de-sac, Chad? In your cul-de-sac? A couple of houses, right? of houses around me. Yeah. Adam, Adam, last word here. I can see you wanting to chime in. No, I think yeah, Anne brings a really good point to the table about food delivery. And if yeah. that is something that's important to you, that's something Amazon can't compete in. So back to me trying to place bets with you guys so you'll bring me back in a year or so. You know, I'm thinking, does Amazon look at a delivery provider and think about bringing that into the prime offering as a way to compete with this? I think that will be the way that we can tell what consumers are doing in mass. Yeah. They and like Chad's point, they, they just did Grubhub. Yeah, yeah, they have Grubhub. Yeah, but, they did. but it's not as well known. Compare, yeah. And yeah. It's like the, the penetration, <laughs> yeah, the penetration of Grubhub right. and DoorDash are you cannot compare right now. Chad, yeah. keep going. So, at, so as one who has used Amazon uh, Prime and key delivery as a vehicle to launch a much, uh, you know, like with the whole in, gor- uh, in garage delivery platform mm-hmm. that, you know, we did in the past, right? We utilized Amazon and its subscriber base because Amazon Prime, you know, has kind of no competitor from from that standpoint right? Um, as a mechanism to build the service, right? And so... Grubhub is going to expand in its, uh, you know, penetration just by that association. So, you know, at some point, again, I don't use uh, Grubhub or DoorDash, but like, what will be the difference between that? And will it actually ride Amazon's coattails to be just as interesting, right? So I don't think there's a gap in the offering, I guess, is the point on on Amazon Prime. Yeah, and net net, great discussion and very provocative question intentionally. But I think what what it signals is, you know, just because you've had the best subscription program in the past doesn't mean you're entitled to have the best one in the future. And the landscape mm-hmm. is going to shift. And over time, customers will go where value is because that's an axiom of how business gets done. 